بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب الزدنی علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین We should be decent Integration Lecture 3 In this lecture I will discuss the integration of odd powers of sin theta and cos theta Odd power means 3 and 5 And then I will discuss the integration of even powers of sin theta and cos theta and these two powers 2 and 4 let's with the integration of odd powers of sin theta and cos theta these are the examples sin cube x cos cube x cos power 5x sin power 5x and these are in our syllabus <coughs> these are the following steps uh, which we use to integrate the odd powers of sine theta and cos theta so step number one uh, well we break the power into power one and the remaining power this is the step number one if we want to integrate sine cube then we will break this power three into power one and then the remaining power which is three minus one makes two why because uh, we need to bring the differential for basic formula 1 we do this breaking of power because we need the differential of the function for basic formula 1 and this is the differential next we use the identity we use this identity sine square plus cos square is equal to 1 here so we basically sub replace sine square x by 1 minus cos square x because this is the function of this differential cos square x is the function of this differential and then we uh, simplify this is the step number three we simplify these functions and this is the simplification sin x cos x whole square sin x now this is the structure of the basic formula one so we integrate step number four we integrate this term this function with the help of basic formula one and this is the simple function normal function we have the direct integral of this so we can integrate this function directly so there are four steps number one break the power number two use the identity number three simplify the functions number four integrate the functions <coughs> step now example sine cube x so step number one is split this power into one and the remaining power one and two now step number two is use the identity here 1 minus cos square x step number three simplify these two brackets these two functions in fact so this is sine x and this is sine x cos square x now write this function in this way this is the structure of basic formula one so you know this is very simple you can integrate sin x directly this is minus cos x and this is the structure of basic formula number one so you just need to check the differential of cos x the differential of cos x is negative sin x so minus one is missing in the differential so according to basic formula number one we add one in power and then we divide function by the resultant power and then we multiply this resulting resultant power with the differential with the missing differential which is minus one so this is the way we integrate sine cube x <coughs> sorry cos cube x now how to integrate cos cube x in the same way as we did uh, sine and cube x we will integrate this uh, cos cube x so number one we will break uh, this power into one and the remaining power step number two use the identity over here 
cos square x is 1 minus sin square x. Step number 3 is the simplification. Do the simplification. And step number 4 is integrate this function normally. And this is the structure of the basic formula 1. You know the differential of sin x is cos x. So just add 1 in power and divide sin cube x by the resultant power. This is the final answer. <coughs> I'm sorry. Now let's discuss the integration of power 5 of cos. See, number 1, the step number 1 is split the power into 1 and the remaining power. Step number 2, write this in the simplified form because we have to use the identity here. So we need to write this as cos square x whole square. Now use the identity here. 1 minus sin square x. And then because of this square, we need to expand this bracket by means of a minus b whole square. So use a minus b whole square to expand this. So cos x, 1 minus 2 sin square x plus sin power 4x. So this is the step number 2. This is the step number 3, simplification. And then you, we need to integrate. This is the step number 4. This and this. So this is the integration of sin, uh, cos x sin x. Uh, we wrote this one is uh, the simplified form. This one as well. Now this is the basic formula number one structure and basic formula number one structure. So the differential of sine is cos, it is here. So we just need to add one in power and divide sine by the resultant power. Same is here, add one in power and divide uh, sine power five with the resultant power. This is the simplified form of the answer. Now I'm leaving uh, this question for you all. Uh, must try this question to practice this uh, integration of odd powers of sine and cos. <coughs> now let's discuss the integration of even powers of sine and cos and the powers will be 2 and 4. These are two powers which are in our syllabus. To integrate the even powers of sine and cos we use the double angle formula. Now this is very important. Always remember to use double angle formula uh, to integrate the even powers of sine and cos. Why? Because to convert the given even power into power 1. That is why we use double angle formula. Because through double angle formula we can convert the power 2 into power 1. This is the logic of using the double angle formula. And make sure you understand the angle relation of the double angle formula. Let me first simply uh, erase these things so that you can understand this well. See, the first important thing of using double angle formula because we convert power 2 into power 1. This is the first important thing. And the second important thing is the angle relation. Here the angle is 1 so the double of this angle must be here. What if we had 4 here, then this angle must be 8. Make sure you handle the angles relation ratio of angle carefully. So uh, this is the double angle formula of cos square theta in terms of cos theta. And this is the double angle formula of sin square theta. It is 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. If you compare these two formulas, you will see that the, both the formulas are same this one and this one both are same except this sign in cause the sign is positive whereas in uh, sign the sign is negative <coughs> and make sure uh, you use double angle formula twice when the power is 4 because this power first will convert into power 2 and then you will need to convert this into power 1. So if power is 4, what if sine power 4 theta, then you need to use double angle formula twice. I have mentioned this here. For power 2, we use double angle formula once. 
for power 4 we use the double angle formula twice because first this power will convert into 2 and then this 2 will convert into 1. These are the examples of the integration of even powers of sine and cos. Make sure the function must be alone. The differential must not be multiplying with the function. If the differential will be multiplying with the function, what if we have this function like this? Cos theta 4 sine theta. Now, don't use this method. Use basic formula 1 to integrate this. So to integrate even powers of sine and cos and odd powers of sine and cos, make sure the function must be alone. Well, uh, this is the integration of uh, even power of cos. So be careful regarding the angle relations. Since this angle is 1, Therefore, the double of this is here. <coughs> Sorry. So, by replacing uh, cos square 1 theta by 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2, we have converted the given even power into power 1. So we can now easily integrate this function. We need to write 2 outside the integral to make the integration simple. The integration of 1 is theta and the integration of cos 2 theta is sine 2 theta upon 2. At the end, we need to multiply half with this theta and with this sine 2 theta upon 2. So this is the final answer. Don't multiply half with this constant. Leave the constant as it is. I'm leaving sine square theta for you. you. Must practice this question. Now sine power four theta. Here we have to use double angle formula twice. <coughs> so first write sine power four theta in its simplified form, like sine square theta power two. Now here apply the double angle formula. It will be 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 and this power 2 is here. Now this is the first time we applied uh, the double angle formula. Now we need to expand this 1 minus cos 2, 2 theta upon 2 whole square. So this 2 will become 4 and we should write this 4 outside the integral to make the calculation simple. Well, the numerator will become 1 minus 2 cos 1 minus 2 cos 2 theta cos square 2 theta. Now, this is very important. Now, we have to convert this power 2 into power 1. This is the second time we will use double angle formula. And make sure you will use double angle formula very carefully here. Because this angle is 2. So, when you will use double angle formula, this angle will become 4. Make sure you handle the angles carefully. Now, take the LCM. Uh, when you will take the LCM, you will get 1 minus, uh, let me first erase this so that you will understand this easily. Well, uh, now you have to take the LCM. So after taking LCM, we have 2 minus 4, sorry, minus 4 cos 2 theta plus 1 plus cos 4 theta. And this 2 will multiply with this 4 and will become 1 upon 8. Now you need to add these two terms. These two will make 3 and after integrating this 3 will become 3 theta. And then minus 4 will be copied because it is the coefficient of cos 2 theta. The integration of cos 2 theta will be sine 2 theta upon 2 and the integration of cos 4 theta will be sine 4 theta upon 4. And at the end, you need to multiply 1 upon 8 with this function, with this entire thing, expansion in fact. And this is the final answer. So make sure you use double angle formula carefully for the power 4 sine power 4 theta, cos power 4 theta. I'm leaving this question for all of you. 
must practice this question in order to good at this topic uh, the more you practice the more you will learn so practice as much as you can let me show you the solution again the first step is a uh, double angle formula sorry the simplification form of sine by power 4 theta this is the step number one this is the step number two double angle formula simplification this step is very important because here we use double angle formula twice and then and do the simplification take the LCM and then you can simply integrate this now I will discuss integration by parts in my next lecture inshallah this is your assignment cos power 4 theta your assignment is also sine square theta and I think sine power 5 theta these are three questions in your assignment must do these questions let me write the other question I think it, it was sine is power 2 theta this is your assignment and this is also your assignment I think sine power 5 theta is your assignment if I remember this so these three questions you must solve these three questions for your practice we should be sober Allah Hafiz.